Now is our chance. I am 29 years old, and in all of the elections I possibly could have participated in since December of 2000, I have participated in none. I've lived in Illinois, New York, Missouri, and 2012 is the first year of elections that I'm actually looking forward to participate in. I never felt supported before. I never felt there was anything worth supporting, but all of that has changed. I have found my calling. It is action, life, living, getting stuff done, and not expecting someone else to do it for me, not going out and complaining to someone else about what I don't have, or what's wrong with society, but actually going out into the belly of the beast and fixing it from the inside out. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Wanting to live life without somebody else telling me who I have to be, what I have to want, what I can't do, is not for me. It's bullshit. I'm no longer going to participate in this <clears throat> system of control and system of deception where people are brainwashed into thinking the fewer civil liberties and freedoms you have, the better off you are, the safer you are. And this is bullshit. It's programming. Life is unscripted. It is not programmed. And so it is chaotic. There is no actual control. And basing my action on life is where I'm at. That is the system I am. It's going to take time. The seed is planted, but a fruit bearing tree is not created overnight. It's going to be a process. And in the process of America, it starts with Ron Paul for me. Ron Paul as presidential uh, candidate as of right now in 2012 has at least one thing the other candidates I've seen doesn't have and that's a laissez-faire attitude. If nothing else he will leave us alone long enough for us to get together in a country that isn't totally going to hell just yet. Anybody else elected other than Ron Paul I really do not see good stuff happening. At least Ron Paul will try. And considering the state of affairs, there's not much else I can ask anyone else to do. <clears throat> but it is global. And Ron Paul understands this, that he is more of a stepping stone than, say, a figurehead. And in the interim, we need to get the message out there that the old world order really is over. Um, there's enough people out there who do not have the desire to be programmed that they are outside the system. No longer are people born into the system. They now have a choice, if you will. And so the time to make a choice is here. I will be running for Congress in 2014. Many of you can do the same, but it doesn't stop there. Ultimately, I support some form of anarcho-capitalism because that is what life supports. But it's going to take multiple steps to achieve. And not voting in this election will bring about one of the greatest travesties travesties this world has ever seen. You know, America actually has the chance to be the light of the world it was meant to be, and not just in some, or not limited, or not even based on some religious idea, but as an actual beacon of how one ought to be, how government ought to be, how economics ought to be, and not forced to be like America, but willing and able to be like America, and then willing and able to be like all humanity, so that America is a guide and not a king or an emperor. Now is our chance.
all theology and philosophy aside, now was a chance to no longer just talk about it. <clears throat> now was our chance to do something. Never has an opportunity like this presented itself in our lifetimes. Now was our chance. We have a year. Get the word out. A month or two of protests? Acceptable. But the protesters and those with a grievance must make the first move. The protests aren't the first move. They are the last move of the old system. The first move of the new system will be the withdrawal of the protesters. If the establishment makes the first move, the movement that is now called Occupy Wall Street and Occupy the World whatnot will still be reacting to the establishment as these protests are. When the establishment starts reacting to the movement, that is when we have found our place. It's not about control. It's about allowing the natural process of life to let itself be. And this is applicable in everything, not just nature, but the nature of everything. Economics, politics, law, business, um, education, medicine, it doesn't matter. I suggest using the free media you have available to you. And don't focus on the goal. Focus on the steps to the goal. And this is how you will achieve the goal. <clears throat> Understanding this is a process and is going to take time is necessary. It must appeal to everyone if it's going to work. So focus on the steps to the goal. Understand your audience and focus on life liberty and the pursuit of happiness. No one can deny these things. With respect to life, we can do this. <clears throat>